Hi everyone! In this video I'm going to show you some functions of manipulating the strings in the string variables. So uh, I will start with simple functions. However, here you can see an example of using those functions in action. So here I have animation of uh, a text indeed where I can change the font size as you can see here and I can change the speed of the uh, movement in it for the animated text and it's also possible to change the text here like uh, let me write down something like robotics and automation for example and I'm pressing enter re replace the, the original text there and here I have the control on either having the animation or not. So this is what you can do with the functions that I'm going to introduce to you. However, I will uh, keep it simple for this video and maybe in the next video I will show you indeed how to develop the code which is here and I already have developed the code in CFC. It's not uh, anything that difficult but uh, you would need to uh, learn how to use the individual individual functions at the beginning like left right lens and so on and so forth and that's what i'm going to do in this video again in the next video i will show you how to do this interesting animation of the strings okay so let me move to a blank project i have selected cfc as the programming language and I can start to uh, bring the empty box and then determine which function I'm going to, to have for that. But before that, let me show you the list of the standard string functions that we have within the codices. So here we have length, left, right, meet, concat, insert, delete, replace, and font. And I hope uh, I will cover all of them in this video. So we, we can start by len or length. Let me go back to our uh, codices environment. Typing length, you see that we, it, this function indeed receives one input which is a string and it provides one output which is the length of the uh, string provided. Let me declare a variable I call it input in string 01 it's of type string and it is initially it has initially the value of codices programming let me set the online one into simulation I already have done it uh, to provide the input to the function block I need to use this input elements and here I just type in string 01 the output here will be the integer so I can also provide uh, declare another variable like str01 length of type integer which initially has the value of 0 let's say Okay, and now if I run, log in and run, run the code here, uh, I needed indeed to determine, to, to connect this value to the uh, str01 length variable that I had declared. I just forgot, let me do it again. Here I need to, to use this output element and str zero one len. Let's try again. And now you see. So nineteen is the length of the string, it means that the, the number of characters within the provided string which was codices programming. So this is quite straightforward. That the next uh, function that we will use 
is the left left and right Let, let's use them together so for that I need to bring another empty box I call this left you see that it has two inputs and one output and this one right again two inputs and one output let me declare the outputs but they are of type string I call it str01 left of type string and str01 right of type string as the inputs I can connect the same string that we already had and as the size so here we can determine in it uh, an integer value we can have a variable or I can just type some value like 4 some constant value and for the other one I, I, I type like 8 another value I need to output elements uh, first one should be connected to str01 left and second one to str01 right and now we see what happens to the string when it comes out of these function blocks so you see here that the output of the left function block is the first four characters of the input string so we had codices programming and starting from the fourth position in it the left part is the output of the left function and for the right obviously starting from position number eight the the rest of the string is provided as the output and it's g ramming in it so you see that with this left and right we can take a part of the string of out of the original one either the left or the right of it and we can determine where we want to do this okay so let's see what are the other uh, functions that we have here we have mid and concat let's try them this time I will start by concat so you can see that it is uh, here with two inputs and one output the two inputs are strings so I just connect them to the outputs of this right and left and as the output I, I create just str01 concat as the string variable and for that I need to use an output element connected here and here we go so we will see that concat indeed puts these two strings together attach, attaches them to each other and creates a new string the other function that we can have a look now is called the mid we see that it has three inputs and one output the output is string and first input is a string second input is uh, length it's indeed uh, an integer value and the third one is also a position so as the string let me just connect it to the to the string that we had here God, this is programming uh, let's see what we can do with this mid function let's have a look here so what does it do for us mid retrieves len number of characters from this string beginning with the character at position pause so let's go back here we start here let's say at character number four and we want to have two characters str01 mid string and 
and another output element here and that's it so I guess you have got it starting from character number 4 we take two characters C O D E and then we, we take E and S here so that's what we have here and here with concat we have this code and we have gramming here putting them together provides us code gramming and it, this is how those two strings are uh, combined with each other okay and let's see what we have here we have insert delete replace and find let's see what do we have with insert and delete so with insert we insert string 2 into string 1 after position pause let's do this let me log out bring another box insert we see that it has two inputs for the strings I just connect them to the strings that we have here and then for the pause I type some value so this could be also another variable but I just uh, use a constant value here str01 insert is the string variable that I'm going to use here and here we have the output let me just copy and paste it and here we go so regarding this insert now we have two input strings one is code and the second one is gramming and starting with third position of the first so C O D after D we need to have this G ramming and that's what we have here as the output C O D and then G ramming and then uh, later we have the rest of the first string so it's indeed inserting the second string into the first string starting from this position that we have provided as the input the other uh, function block that we will try now is delete it's quite straightforward it deletes a number of characters from the string beginning with the character in the pause position so uh, I need to determine that this is delete you see that it has one string input I connect it to this, here we have gramming the number of characters to remove 3 starting from which position, let's say 4 and as the output I need to declare another variable str01 del string okay so now let's see what happens to our input string here and that's it so here we have uh, G ramming starting from the third position the fourth position uh, which is G G R A M starting from M three characters are M I N indeed are removed as a result we have G R A N G so you see that three characters are removed are deleted from the original string starting from this position we have two other functions left one is replace and the other one is find so with replace uh, we, we need to replace L characters from string 1 by string 2 beginning with the character in the P position let's see it in action okay I just put it here we have it here replace you see that it now we have two strings 
uh, all right I just connect this to the initial original indeed PSC codices programming that we have for the string tool this time I just prefer to provide some uh, constant string value in it OP let's say position I determine as 2 and length I use let's say 5 and let me declare another variable str01 replace string and let's see what do we get as the output of this replace function block and here it is so we, we have consensus programming as the initial input uh, string to this replace function starting from position 2 which is uh, in the third starting from the second in the because we have 2 here so C will stay there and then starting from O with the length of 5 we need to replace this OP so COP is the result that we have as programming so 5 characters indeed are removed from the original one and the OP is uh, indeed replaced those 5 characters as a result we have got this COPS programming so instead of codices we have OP indeed has replaced O D E S Y five characters. So you see that it's you can use this to replace a part of the string with another string. And I guess the last function block that we have here is this find function block. This find finds the position of the first character where a string two appears in a string one for the first time. If it's not found then output becomes zero. So uh, the output will be an integer value and the inputs are strings. So we have find, you see that we have two strings. I just connect this the first one to the PLC programming and this is programming and the, the second one to uh, I just provide programming let me use capital P and uh, let me also introduce declare another variable str01 find which is an integer variable and here we have the output element connected to the output of the find this should provide us the position in which th the programming appears within codices programming which is indeed 9 position number 9 starting from COD uh, ok so these are all the standard functions which could be used to manipulate strings for this video it's all in the next video as I already explained at the beginning of the uh, video I will show you how to do this animation here how to change the size of the font and how to change the speed of the animation using the functions that we had and some other functions of course not only the string functions will be used Alright, again that's all for this video. Thank you for watching and see you next time as usual.